We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand. I have great pleasure to have with me today the Minister for ICT and Youth for Rwanda, Jean-Philibert Nensingamana. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's uh, shaping up to be a great event, and this year the theme of this event, of course, is embracing change in the digital world. I'd like to get your opinion on what you think are the biggest opportunities and even the threats maybe to society that this might bring us. Well, I think there is one world that captures all that change, and the word is transformation. Everything is transforming uh, due to influence, positive but also negative, in some cases, of these uh, new uh, technologies. So there are five sectors that we have identified in Rwanda that we're going to focus on in terms of making the promise of new technologies work for the people. One is agriculture, uh, followed by uh, healthcare, education, government, and businesses in general, especially the small and medium enterprises. Excellent start. What do you think um, are the biggest threats in terms of getting your role out in Rwanda? Is anything slowing you down or are you very, you know, heading in that direction already in terms of digitising the economy? Well, I think in Rwanda and uh, pretty much in the rest of the, the, the developing world, there are two main challenges. One is electricity and energy. That's yes. a big challenge. Yes. But at the same time, as it was said earlier on today, the biggest challenge uh, represents at the same time the biggest opportunity. The other challenge is, of course, the affordability. Yeah. Uh, these new technologies don't come cheap. They don't come easy. It requires a lot of investments. And it requires also, uh, maybe if I mention the third one, is uh, digital literacy. So Rwanda has been working along the three main challenges to transform them into opportunities. Understood. And also, um, can you tell me more about the rollout of 4G? Because I'm presuming 4G will be the major element to get broadband to the people. When the CEO of China Mobile spoke this morning, I was the happiest man in that room because he said 4G LTE is the future and Rwanda is already in that future. We launched last month our first uh, rollout of 4G LTE in partnership with Korea Telecom and our objective is to achieve 95% coverage within the next three years. So we are there and uh, the, the project has started and we want, to, we want to be able to share the lessons we've learned because it requires big changes in the policy, in the market structure. It requires also a big change in people's mindsets. Yes. I was wondering that because moving from virtually no communication straight into really the, the leading edge communications is a big challenge for any developing country. Absolutely. It is a challenge. But again, I think we have need to emphasize that this is an opportunity, especially for Africa, to really catch up or lead a big wave of, uh, you know, an economic revolution because we know that broadband is going to lead um, a big economic uh, improvement and change in Africa. Now, when you come to events like this, what are the benefits for yourself and for the people in your entourage and people in the country? Uh, what do you get out of events like this? Well, I think the, mess, the, the, the biggest benefits in, in terms of networking, partnerships. This is a place where the, 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 the industry, the, the leaders, the political leaders, ministers, regulators, investors, they all come to meet here and really see how we can strike win-win um, relationships. But it's also a great, great platform for learning. We get to learn a lot of things, new technologies coming up, new opportunities showing up everywhere in the world. So it's a, it's a platform that we've decided we'll never miss. Minister, it's been a pleasure being with you today and it sounds really promising for Rwanda. We look forward to hearing more in the future. Thank you so much.